City and welcome back to another episode of Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last one we entered the Jellyfish Caves and let's see if we can make this jump. We did it. There we go. And we broke, well last time we broke all those boxes but they respawned. Yeah so we entered this area and today we're going to actually start going through here. We did all of Jellyfish Field. Well we got through Jellyfish Fields as I should say, and came to this area. I don't know if we're actually completely done with it. But now we're in Jellyfish Caves is what this is called. So, yeah, and our goal now is to save Patrick, wherever he is. And, yeah, so let's get started. And, you know, we had to make it up here. That's how I ended I ended off the last episode mentioning that. And there was, there was a, one of Patrick's socks up there. So I'm glad we did that. But, yeah, need to get to Patrick to help him, but he's unreachable. Maybe these switches will create a way. Okay, so we have to hit all those switches to go save Patrick. I got it. All right. So, that's a that's a new type of little tiki head thing. Let's break it anyway. I guess let's start by going this way. I don't remember when I took damage, but I needed the underwear apparently. Really, all I gotta do is break those, and then you can. I can do this. Hold up. Let me time that. Can I just double jump? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm supposed to just double jump and then smack it. Hello. There you go. Um, yeah, so, alright, so we hit that button. And so now, we, yeah, we just gotta hit all the buttons. Seems pretty simple. Uh, the enemies aren't too bad to handle. They're, yeah, they're, they're not really that bad to deal with. Like, you see that? I just killed all, just kill all three of those. They're, they're really not that bad. Let's kill you. And let me hit that button. And then destroy the machine. Kill you. And jump over. Kill you! Whoa, almost got hit. There we go. Killed both of them. And... Yeah, let's proceed on... Alright, yeah, so we're gonna head... Up here. I think it's the last button. I only saw three when they showed us. Also, this music. I just... I just yeah, the music. I just plugged in my other headphones to listen to the sound of the music and stuff. It just scares me. Let's see. So, oh, there's Patrick. I, I didn't even notice he was right there. So let's break this. There you go. And now the music's back to normal because we saved the. Ow, jeez. I did not realize the explosion from that can hurt you. Oh, why was SpongeBob running like that? Oh, is that because he's running away from the enemy? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know that was a thing. That's actually funny. I almost died. I didn't know that he had a separate running animation for when he's running from enemies. That That's hilarious. All right. Let's kill him now. Let's collect the underwear and then let's go get to Patrick. I don't know what saving Patrick does, but. Uh, like, I don't know if he gives us something or what, but let's go see. What's up, Patrick? Hey, What's up? SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, so now we're playing as Patrick. So he has different abilities and stuff, huh? He's got that. His, his pants fell. Oh, geez, look at that. You can do a short one or if you double jump and then slam that. Look at that. I still need to collect this. The golden spy. Oh, so the, the, yeah, we switch characters now. This was a thing in the movie video game, too. You play as SpongeBob and Patrick. We're trying to see all the moves he has. You can do this. You can, yeah. Because really, it seems like he could do this. That's like his attack. Just slams his belly. And they can do like a belly flop or a cannonball kind of thing. So, all right, let's head on this way. Awesome. So it's funny how Patrick's health is also SpongeBob's underwear. Uh, let's see, throw fruit. So Patrick can do it. He can pick it up. Oh, so I can pick it up and throw it. So I need to pick this up. Go throw it at this button. Do I just hit B again? Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So yeah, I guess each character. I knew there was more playable characters. I just I I don't know who all is playable. Hey, my back feels Who's that fish? Ooh, a present in everyone. A present in everyone. Let's see. Oh, I can throw tiki. I didn't know that. Who's this guy? He's just here. Hit that jellyfish. I can pick up tiki's. Oh, so is that like I can hit that tiki out there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Let's beat up this guy. <laughs> Wait, I just like bounced off of him. Did you see? Look, I can, I can keep bouncing off of him. Hold on. Look, at that. that's that's hilarious. Oh my god, look, look at that. <laughs> just keep bouncing on him. I didn't realize that he would like launch me back up after I slammed into him. That's like that's funny. <laughs> my god. Anyway.
I'm gonna stop bullying this poor man who didn't do anything to me. Uh, he can throw fruit up steps, climb, and oh, okay. So, so basically, I can travel upwards with them. First, I want to I want to hit these tiki's out here. The fruit respawns. I guess it's called a throw fruit, but it's just a watermelon, <laughs> a really big watermelon. So, yeah. so what we're supposed to do. Wait, hold on. What is this bus over here? Oh, is this? I think this is how you. Let's see. Oh yeah, you may switch between planes. So if I hit this, then it'll switch me to SpongeBob. Oh, I see. But I still need Patrick here for the throw fruit part. Yeah. Oh, so okay. So I can switch out characters whenever I want to. So yeah. So we. I think we need Patrick to go for this little area. But we'll switch back in a second. But yeah, for now we need to bleed. I, I don't know why this guy's here, but he's just here. He's got a nice mustache and a cool hat. So let me pick this up. So then you, you throw it up there. And you grab it, and you throw it up again. You grab it, and you hit the button. It's pretty simple. Uh, yeah, I still do need to throw fruit here. Let's see. A Patrick Teeter Totter that only he can use. Okay, so ba basically, I just take the fruit, stand here, and then throw the fruit. What if I throw it without me on there? Oh, it'll still work. I was, I was close enough. Yeah, you can just launch yourself. There's a checkpoint, so the game saved. All right. So then now, I'm going to just keep going. So what is this? When Patch touches, it, it will... Oh, so, so, yeah, I already saw these. They blow up after a little bit. Yeah, okay, yeah, I, I saw those. It, it said when Patrick touches them, but it's not just Patrick, because I did it with Spongebob, too. Look at this dude with his headphones on. He has a nice character model. Anyways, I'm about to blow him up. I come. Oh, boom. Give me your headphones. Are those beats? Those beats by Drake? Come here. Give me them. Give me your beats. Give me them. Give me them. Give me them beats. I need those. I lost my AirPods. Okay, give me them. I mean, I lost my AirPods. I kind of want your beats. Give them over. What do you mean, no? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Oh, this is TARDIS. Oh, Tiki Thunder. Oh, I can pick those up too. I didn't know that. I can pick up like anything. Your barnacle head. Watch where you're going. The rock is talking to me. Almighty Rock, I am at your command! Down here, you big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! All right, so yeah, Plankton needs to help us, but first, I'm gonna head this way and hit this to yeah. Go. Oh, so okay, I can go back over here now. Okay, that's okay. I see. Yeah, so I just need to. Oh, I didn't mean it. <laughs> I thought the reticle was locked on, so I bet. But yeah, the reticle like popped up for a second, so I thought it was still locked on, and I just yeeted the watermelon over there. Let's go back over here. And then yeah, we're just gonna head down to the cave. I thought there's more I could do with that little trampoline thing. Uh, I didn't know. I think I was supposed to throw those tiki's, the the exploding ones, at those things. I didn't realize that I needed to do that, but it's okay. We can always like come back. They're, they're, I think they'll respawn. Oh, I could pick the, these ones up. Pick up this one and do it. Yeah, there we go. It's actually much easier. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See, there's two over there, so I can just do this. I didn't break them all. Oh well. That's why I need the exploding ones. That makes sense. All right. Well, yeah, I already know how to do the the belly flop. That's all. That's all I was teaching me. Just how to do the belly flop, which I already know. Uh, so we're gonna try to hit the bottom of this one. Yeah. Or okay. Or just turn, Patrick. That's cool too. All right. Patrick, like, no, I'll do what I want. Maybe slam onto that. And then now we're actually in the caves part of Jellyfish Caves. <laughs> Scary dark cave. Oh, oh, those things fall. I thought they followed me for a second. Yeah, but now we're actually in the caves part of Jellyfish Caves. Cannonball. 
I mean, fireballs, maybe, maybe, but I don't know about cannonball. I don't think you want a cannonball in that lava patch. Let <laughs> me, ooh, that jellyfish. <laughs> it's just pelvic dust. <laughs> and pelvic dust. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Drop on your right foot. Don't forget it. Uh, yeah, we're going to throw these. Those guys out there. Just to kill all. Yeah, just to get me some more shiny objects. I do need at least 3,000 to trade in from to Mr. Krabs for a spatula. So, also, how many spatulas do we have? Oh, yeah. Hold on. I don't pause. I checked with this. So, yeah, we can head to the next area now if we wanted to. Because I know it was only five. But we're going to go one at a time. Because there's, there's no reason to go. Unless I get stuck and, like, can't progress. I, th I thought I could actually hit the button. No, you have to throw something at this. Let me yeet that up there. Oh, I can take the same one. Okay, I think that's what I'm supposed to do, actually. Okay, that that was weird. Why did Patrick throw it like that? He was facing this way, and then threw it the other way. He's like, yeah, I'm just built different. So, <laughs> Patrick really just threw it backwards, and it hit. He's like, yeah, what about it? I'm built different. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, yeah, so we're just going to progress through here. There's a lot of spikes, so I'm going to wait till they go up. So they peek out and then stab up. Okay, so once they start going back down, we're going to just go. There we go. See, that was pretty simple. Can I hit? Also, I think I need Spongebob for this part. Oh, or I can just do that. Okay, that somehow worked. All right. Uh, let me get all these. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. Okay. I mean, there was a, there is a pair of underwear back there. I'm just going to inkle this last one. I need all the shiny objects. Even if it's just one. Oh, these are bottle caps. Or corks, I should say. That's what they're technically called. Oh, I was going to say, what? do I have to go all the way back there and get that watermelon? No, there's one right here. Alright, let me throw it all the way over there. That actually helps me a lot. There you go. Jump. No, no, no. Wow. It fell off. Okay, let's throw it again. Right there. Let's go over there. What? There we go. Oh, jeez. Stupid jellyfish. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I forgot that those things, like, because it wasn't attacking me for a while, and then there. Uh, at least there's a pair of underwear over there that we can heal up. Are you kidding? I keep breaking this stupid water belly. Okay, go over there. Okay, I thought I died for a second. I was going to be so upset. Okay, pick this up. And yeet it over there. There we go. Now, get me my shiny, uh, shiny objects. Checkpoint. And then we're going to click the underwear. Okay, that's much better. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. A fresh a fresh pair of underwear in a cave. Actually, I don't know if that's any better. I don't, I don't know if that... And then I get hit again anyways. Great. But yeah, I don't know if a fresh pair of underwear that you found in a cave is really that much better. But we'll go with it. So I can't even hit the side of the spikes. I just learned by the way. But okay, there's a pair of underwear right here. We're gonna clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> and and get it because it whistled. Uh, all right, let's hit that area. Super monster combo. Mm, that's what I like to see. There we go. Yes, sir. Uh, anyways, so let's drop down. There we go. Oh, can I get that one? There we go. Now I'm full. Oh, wait, they actually, they actually point out how it's but Okay. <laughs> I don't think SpongeBob's in the one fit square right Patrick really likes to talk, huh? Well, oh, that was gonna hit. Hit. I guess I can't hit that. Alright. Well, what am I supposed to do here? So, do I have to stand. Oh, no, I gotta throw the watermelon. Yeah, there you go. And then I walk through. Okay. That makes sense. What does this say? Oh, so he can throw fruits upwards. Okay, this is just like. The throw fruit tutorial, basically. Can I not get back out? Well, we're stuck here now. <laughs> That's fine, though. We're, we're gonna progress this way anyways. So, yeah, we can throw this. So, we gotta just throw it. I don't know why I would waste my time, though. Why would I need... Why do I need this up here? I can throw it at that one, I guess. But, what? Oh! I... Oh! I use them as platforms. Okay, I, I just realized... I didn't read the sign all the way. I thought it was just telling me that Patrick can throw them up. No, I gotta jump onto them and then jump. Yeah, okay, now I see. So in this one, I stack it onto there. Oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense now. I was like, wh why do I, why do I care that Patrick can throw fruit upwards? And that's why I need to stack them. And this one's really tiny because you gotta throw both of them on top of each other. Throw that one there. And then, is that is that good enough? Let's try it. It was good. Enough. Uh, <laughs> Patrick's tired of carrying the watermelon. Oh uh, yeah, I only have one box. I gotta get the other one later. Well, Patrick just slides like this. That's funny. He just he just slides like this. SpongeBob really uses his tongue. That's kind of gross. Like, this is sand. Would you want sand all over your tongue? I don't think I didn't think so. Whoa. Okay. Oh. 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 Ow. 
Oh! That's much better. Ow, I took damage there. Too. I think we gotta avoid. Okay, jeez, that, that, I did terrible. I don't think I can go back up. Oh, I could. Yeah, we're not. We're not gonna do that again, though. We don't need to go back up. Uh, right now. Oh, and now I can learn what these things do. Let me see. Freezy fruit. Free. Oh, it freezes the goo. Oh, that's new. Yeah, that wasn't in the the movie video. Game. Look at that. And then you can freeze the fruit. It's only temporary, and ice physics are not the best. I can use this to travel a little faster. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Make it, 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 I'm pretty sure that's the kid. I don't know. I don't remember that fish. Let's see. Belly flops near robots. He can damage or stun them. Small robots will be defeated. Larger. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's telling me if I do this, it'll hit. Oh, it's got an AoE. Okay. The bigger robots, it'll take more. Than, like, it'll just stun them. It won't kill them outright. So, like, these guys are all good. freeze the water again. So, like, these guys will just get stunned, right? Yeah, see, if I don't hit them directly, it just stuns them, but then I can just move. So, like, I just do this again. Stuns him. I just kill him. There we go. I don't know what I need that fruit for. What's this sign saying? Oh, I can pick up stun robots. Oh, I want to try that. Whoa. Ow. Ow. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's flop. Try to pick this guy up. Okay, I, I have to stun both of them for that. I'm, I'm not going to die. Right. Can, I, can I not die? I'm really about to die. Okay, let me... Why do they keep responding so quick? Oh, gee, I died. I literally died. Alright, well. <laughs> That's cool. Alright, we'll, we'll go back. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Immediately get stung. Okay, do that. This that kid again. All right. Well, hopefully not die. Yeah. Oh, I, th I thought I actually could hit him with it. No, it just it just hits him and then blows up. I thought it would actually be like an animation. I'm just gonna progress. Oh, do I need to take this? I don't know all of this. He's too up there. Like, look at that. Just, I forgot that that damage. Jeez, why am I doing so bad right now? I don't know. Maybe it's because of Patrick. Like, I got dumb brain energy now. Patrick's fault. I think what I need to do is stun. I forgot you have to double jump. I need to stun one Yeah, see, that's what's responding. So I need to stun them. I need to pick one up and throw it up. Yeah, there. Okay, so now if we kill these guys, we're gonna them. There we go. They, they should be dead then. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice that going back there for a second. Oh, that was weird that like I was, I was still moving during the animation for a second. Uh, oh, and I see there's a thing. That, okay, so we're gonna go back down to get the sock. I'm gonna freeze the, the water, the goo. And then we're gonna get the sock, and then we'll keep progressing through here. I don't know how. Again, I, I don't know anything about this game, so I don't know how long this area is either. Um, so the sock's right, like back there, I believe. So, oh no, it's right there. Okay, so we're gonna just throw it here, and then just go straight across. I think that. I don't know if that's true. If this is the faster way to travel as Patrick, just spamming X because he does like the thrust. But it seems like it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with that. Kill all of them, okay. And yeah, let, we're gonna head deeper into the cave now. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do as much as we can. I don't think you have to c go back and forth between areas. Again, I don't know how this game works, so maybe. But uh, there is a new area here, it seems like. What's this gonna be? Jellyfish Lakes. Let's go there. There's a new area. Bet. See, we, so we beat all of the caves so far. We got a whole golden spatula and everything, which I almost missed. But, yeah, now... 
we can progress into jellyfish lakes was it yeah jellyfish lakes i don't know how many oh squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish yes good thing too that monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks i hear that you can find him up top of old sport mountain here go hook that beast sailor oh boy mr krabs i'll see what i can do all right so it looks like that this is where we're gonna fight king jellyfish so this is this the last area it seems like it oh and if i ride okay so if i press rb here take me back to the caves yeah, I don't know where this where those caves are, but so Mr. Krabs is telling me that King Jellyfish is up on the mountain. So, oh, what is this new enemy? Uh, oh, dang. Okay, that's <laughs> that's a little much. Jeez, what did we do? Dang, he really bodied us. Patrick's here. He really shot all of them. Dang. Why is he so aggressive towards us specifically? Like, what did we do? What did Patrick, Spongebob, and Sandy do to him? Oh my god. He, he's out to get us. Ow. Yeah, celebrate. Dude. He's stupid. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's probably what all those, like, pans... Oh, there's, there's an anchovy. Is this that... Is this the handsome boy? The, the tall, dark, and handsome from high school? Uh, that one high that's school. That's much bro. better. Let's jump down here. This one goes boom. This one goes boom. Uh, yeah, let's go up there. I want to switch back to SpongeBob if I can. Cause he, I feel like he just has more ability, so it'd be better for the fight. Well, so these ones spin when you stand on that. Okay, I was wondering what these guys were about. Wait, they don't spin? Why did they? Ju Why did that just happen then? What? Is that a glitch? I'm so lost. What just happened? Why did he spin like? That? Was he trying to like look at me, but because of the way I landed on him, he just kept spinning. I think I glitched out the game there for a second. That was weird. Uh, yeah. But why? I don't know why there's just random people around, but they have some nice character models. Is it literally just to flex the models? I think that's what it is. They, they just threw in random people to flex their character models. It's crazy. Uh, alright, so let's head this way. Beat up him. Kill those two. Slam on you. Yeah, there, there's a lot to do. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. So, yeah, okay, so across there is a golden spatula. Well, oh, they're in a second. This is a sticky sponge. We'll have to sneak up on it. Oh, so that's how that works? What is LT? Mean? It said gently press LT. So, oh, so like if I run up on these guys, yeah. So when I'm SpongeBob, I can like tiptoe. I didn't see a place to switch character. Unless I just, yeah, I didn't see one of those little taxis. So I do want to switch to SpongeBob. Or, oh, it's literally, I'm blind. It's right in front of me. It's right here. Yep. We're gonna play a SpongeBob for this for this section, Cause, especially because he can do all this stuff. I feel like it'd be better for the boss fight. He just has more of like. I didn't realize that. Oh yeah, it's a gen it's a press LT. Oh, if you press LT when walking, you'll tip. Oh, so you don't have to like do this to do it. You can just hold LT. Sneak out. And like that. I didn't know you could actually kill these guys, so I could have done that. But so now, now I know if I go back to SpongeBob Street. Oh, so look at this. Look at how dumb. Fish. Okay, I can jump on Okay, so we're gonna head this way. We'll get that golden spatula later. Unless, like, I'm not gonna get it yet unless I feel like we're about to hit the wall. Yeah, I don't wanna do it. Why is he like, ah, 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 like, bro, shut up. Little robot, you shot me the hardest like so Sauced me up, like, bro, fraggy. Anyway, I'm not so mad. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's because he's trying to clown me. That's what. Why am I. Bro, am I good? I'm like sitting here arguing with myself. <laughs> but no, I, but like for real, that robot was trying to clown me. He really shot me with tartar sauce, and I thought he did something. I have to, I had to get on him for it. Let's beat him up. Oh, oh geez, I almost got hit by that. And then there's this guy who, who, this, this guy who, that cowboy. Farmer. Like a new cowboy farmer. I meant cowboy fish. I cannot speak. Uh, anyways. Whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah, clown me again. He still hit me. That's crazy. 
he really still hit me after that. Roger will come back here when he knows cruise bubble. Okay, so I can't do anything with this yet. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but I can't do anything here. So it looks like there's a few. Oh yeah, I remember there's a bowling area earlier too. So we are going to have to come back here later, probably for more golden spatulas. But yeah. But yeah. Okay, we're going to have to come back for some more golden spatulas later. I should not have done that. Idea. Even. Oh, hold on. Go up. Hit all. Check the his underwear. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, I don't want to get to the boss, which I'm assuming is all the way like, there. But if I feel like I'm getting to the boss, we'll head back to that other golden spot. But yeah, I just want to explore around a little bit first. See what else there is before I get that golden spot. Shoot that. So these don't teeth, ordinary moves. It can, oh, it has to be blown up, okay. I'm gonna have to go. Okay, I can get that. I feel like a new sponge. Okay. So I have to do this and blow them up like that, okay. That makes sense. Let's see, I see how it works. Whoa, there's a lot of them. Oh, what the, whoa! Oh, that's, there's the thing right there, okay. I was like, where did you come from? Like I have to blow that up. It should blow up the machine too, right? There you go. Oh, I can open this up. What does this do? And shiny objects for what? They just open this gate? I think. Hold up. There's like platforms going on. I think this might be where the boss is at. So, yeah, we're going to head back. Head back. But at least, like, we cleared out this path. Um, anything with the oh, hold on. I can go down here. Let me see. Can I get. Oh, oh, I almost died. Did y'all see that? I was so close. All right. Uh, let's hop up here. I guess I can't get up here. Uh, we're gonna head down here. Because, yeah, there's, like, platforms going around. I think that might lead kind of towards the boss. So, yeah. I feel like that's just a good place to stop the little journey. I don't know what the point of those guys is. I'm just gonna ignore them for now. Bubbles here. Some random bubbles. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we're back at Mrs. Puff. I think there's another way to go back this way, though. So we're gonna let's see. That's what I did. Go away. Go up. I feel like a new stuff. I thought I killed him. I, I swear I killed him, but now that we cleared out this area, it'll be much nicer for the next episode because we are coming up on the end. So, how did I not hit that? Well, yeah, we went left. We can also go right. We're gonna head up this and see where this leads. Oh, is it? Just for shiny yeah, objects and like Oh, okay. Breeze. I thought we get a cool look at the waterfall. There we go. We get a cool look at the waterfall. Yeah, look, look at how nice the water. I'm telling you, the blue. I call it water. Blue, same thing. Technically, the water is up there. If we're gonna be technical, that, that's the water. That blue sky is water. But. The goo also looks like really nice, like, like just nice water. Um, that was where I couldn't do anything, there, right? Yeah, so okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back down to Mrs. Puff, and we're actually gonna get that golden spatula in the next one. We are kind of coming up on the end here in a little bit. Uh, we might try it actually. If I, if I can do it fast, we'll just do it, but it's gonna take a while. But I have to, you know what? Actually, let's just do it. Yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, I have a little bit of time left, so. Let's just go over and it's for Mrs. Puff. There's a lot of health and like a uh, healing item. So, so let's see how this one goes. So, you know, one's right there. Right away, right away. Take that. I guess it's just gonna be waves of enemies and I have to fight. Right now. There you go. Let's see, I don't think I can jump onto those, those houses. Can I get back to that safe? Can I jump on Oh, I can. I can get. I walk around and just carry it. I think that's all I'm supposed to do. That's really all I need to do. Oh, no. Okay, no, we can't walk. Alright. Well, then, I don't. 
I don't know how you get the bonus. Um, yeah, you know what? I think we're just gonna go ahead and save it. And so, yeah, we're gonna stand by this guy. Yeah, we'll save it for the next episode. We'll start off by doing that, because I don't know what. I think I might just have to beat waves of enemies, but it seems like it was going forever. So. Yeah, we'll just figure that out on the next one. But, yeah, so. That was today's episode of SpongeBob Battle for the Kids Bottom Rehydrate. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff, and turning on the bell notifications, all that. And if you like this video that much, then you might consider going down to putting it in your favorite playlist. And if you've missed any episodes so far, I have a playlist. You know, playlist days. Um, I've got a oh, I've got a playlist of um all the episodes so far. So if you want to see that, yeah. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Please consider subscribing and share this video around. Share those playlists around. You know, all that good stuff. Because I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Because then we can start making some some of that cash off of this. And yeah, but yeah, that's it for this episode. Until next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day, y'all.